I had to take sound twice at USC. I took it when my, when my uh, I think my second semester of my sophomore year, because I was pledging a fraternity, which was hard. <laughs> no, and that no, first semester of sophomore year, and then um, and also because in sound at USC, they don't teach you just about sound. They teach you about the psychoacoustics of sounds, the physics of sound. They teach you about you know how sound propagates within air, and within water, within within solid objects. <clears throat> they teach you about rim reverberation time and and different technical terms like songs and fonts and all this stuff. And I'm like, why in the fuck do I need to know this to make movies, right? And so I didn't take it seriously. And so, um, I, you know, I didn't get that good. The class is divided between camera and sound, and I got a bad grade in sound, but a good grade in camera, so it pulled my whole grade down. But then I took the class again in the second semester of my senior year, and I had to take it to graduate to get a good grade. And, and as I took it in the second semester of my senior year, that summer I made Boys in the Hood. And so I directed not only the picture and the environment, but I also, when I'm in the, in the moment of the set, I'm directing the sound too. I'm having people react to the helicopter sounds that aren't there. I'm having people react to sounds that I know I'm gonna put in the background. I created, I created me, tap on the shoulder. I created the sound design for Urban America with Boys in the Hood that people used in umpteen movies all since, you know? Mm -hmm. And um, I've changed up since then, you know what I mean? But I'm saying like, like but that comes from, from, from what they taught us at USC about sitting in an environment and listening to the different levels and listening to what's there and trying to find a way to which to use the sound to to support the themes of whatever story that you're telling. You know, you know, it's not just about being loud. Mm -hmm. It's about what you're putting in there and about the different levels and about the there's a rhythm to it, you know, mm -hmm. and, and you know, there may be stuff that is it's there, it's more felt than heard. It's mm -hmm. there. If you really listen to it, it's there, you can hear it, but it should be more felt than heard. And that's stuff that I work on with every project, whether it's is TV or film, film or TV. I'm always trying to find a way to to elevate those other elements. Oh. There's a moment in Boys in the Hood where one of the best moments I feel I did in terms of directing the sound was uh, when Ricky gets shot as uh, the camera's over cranking in slow mo and he's running. You can hear these children in the neck, in the, in the, in the, in the, in the, in the um, thing, in the fence over laughing and they're playing. Okay, and then he gets shot and the sound drops off. The same sh children that were laughing and playing while he was running, you hear them crying, you hear a baby crying in the background. You know, I mm -hmm. dropped out the silence mm -hmm. for a second when he gets shot and you really hear the <sighs> You don't even hear an exit wound. You don't hear, a, you know, that was there, but took that out. You, 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 you could, you could have, try to be more violent, but you hear, you know what I mean? Like, and you don't, you know, and it drops out and it's silent and um, Trey is running towards him, it's silent. The car, Doughboy's car is driving fast and then it's silent, but then you, you raise it up as it's coming up as, a, you're not in reality. Mm -hmm. You are in reality, but you're not in reality, you know? And so that's, that's, that's picture and sound working in, in a kind of a different way together. Right. Yeah. And I actually did that, uh, you know, I called back to that in um, this television uh, show that I've just done called Rebel. I have a scene like that and I, I play with that. It's funny because I was like, wow, I'm lamping myself. I'm like, I'm old enough to steal from myself now. Mm. <laughs> <laughs>